Hello everybody, welcome back to the IndieQuest vlog. Uh, the office has been coming uh, together uh, nicely. New chairs, um, got the plants, super cool. Look at that, a whiteboard for our agile uh, development. We just finished our sprint. These are uh, some of them are already planned for next week. Um, but yeah, so new vlog. Today, what's actually happening is we are having an open house. A bunch of new uh, potential questers are gonna come check it out. Uh, so yeah, I will prepare right now uh, some slides to give everyone a presentation of how it is to study here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction about how the learning curriculum looks like and how we do education here. When you come here, you're an indie game developer from day one. You're just as much uh, an indie game developer as everyone else in the house. And um, yeah, because you're not gonna be studying theory for exams. In fact, there's no exams. Everything is done through just through project work. Be prepared to put in many hours into this. Uh, so that's just, that's just something that you have to keep in mind. This is probably going to be one of the hardest things you can learn. In a summary, the things, the previous slide, the things that this is for you is, yeah, if you want to come make games, put in the hours and uh, do it with friends and come out a better person. Yeah, the presentations are now over. It's actually the next day already. Uh, yesterday was we had, I was actually giving three presentations, uh, first for a bigger group and then uh, two individual ones that arrived a little bit later. Uh, yeah, it was very, um, very positive. The ones I talked to were super amped to be here. That was always, so it's always nice to hear that. Yeah, we're also gonna put, if anyone's watching this and that couldn't come, uh, like some people came from like two hours away, but Sweden is big, uh, as they tell me. I've never been up to Stockholm, but yeah, uh, it's quite many hours, so it, it's not expected that everyone can make it to such an open house, but uh, we recorded the, the talk, and so we should upload that as a separate video up, the, uh, up on our channel as well, if you wanna look at that. Um, yeah, otherwise this week was uh, these two weeks, I guess. Uh, I've just been working on a lot of learning materials. Uh, I was doing the concept art stuff. So yeah, I can give you a little bit of a short demo uh, how those look like. You'll get a better idea what uh, yeah, learning materials that you use uh, if, you, if you learn here um, look like. So here is the document I've been working most on. Uh, these uh, few weeks. Uh, it's about uh, drawing your own environment, coming up with the designs. Uh, here's the cover. I always like to include an image from an artist that I like for some inspiration, get people hyped. And yeah, every time you have a skill increase section first, which is sort of going into the theory of stuff where you learn uh, something new, which is then followed by a, a mission where you are putting that thing you just learned immediately into practice. There's a uh, no just studying uh, theory here at the Indie Quest. Everything you learn is immediately it's only for the purpose of being able to do something so in this case for example you are learning about using of references and building a library of uh, references that you can then use when you are uh, doing your own designs and i like to include a lot of images if possible especially on the art side so here you get a lot of examples of for example of multi-view projection used in concept art because the concept art gets passed to 3d artists who are then going to make the models so here's just a demonstration of yeah how does it look like to be a concept artist so these are sort of introductory learning materials for concept art and I've been watching a lot of videos from FZD school uh, Feng Zhu design school in Singapore that is uh, one of the best concept art schools and they are very uh, open about their process the the founder uh, just uploads a lot of videos called design cinema on YouTube that you can learn from so we for example we use those learning materials uh, as part of uh, our curriculum we try to as much as possible incorporate other learning materials online uh, into our curriculum 
because a you are getting to learn from so many different uh, experienced people and I think that's honestly how it should be in the future. Uh, we should create learning materials that are sort of everlasting, that are out there, open learning resources. Uh, just as much as ours, we will be releasing all of uh, this stuff uh, through our Discord. Everyone should be able to uh, get this knowledge and we should be all able to learn from everybody else. Like we are living in the internet age where this is possible. so. Yeah, that's kind of how we're embracing this. So here's, for example, the first mission where you, uh, the first drawing mission of concept art, where you just get to draw like a building from a reference and you have to, uh, you know, sort of invent what's on the other side. Then you can use this reference in your 3D modeling missions. Here is in the 3D modeling materials when you learn about the low poly art style. Again, there's a lot of examples to learn from. And yeah, the first mission is to design your own low poly building. And yeah, now here you get to use your own concept art that you've done. And for example, here's a, a demonstration of uh, the uh, concept art that I've used and how I've uh, created the 3D model. So you always have something to aim for. You know exactly what is expected of you for each mission. And obviously I'm also there. You can always ask for any clarification or help on the way. To, the, to getting to the result. And all of this learning is interconnected. Here's my big art knowledge map of all of the things uh, that you could possibly cover as an artist. I'm sure I'm also missing some, but a lot of all the fundamentals are, are here. Yeah, my job here is besides setting up the whole system is also putting together little learning materials. And like I said, as much as I can, I also incorporate other things. And then sometimes I just write a lot of the stuff uh, myself but my main goal my main role is really to create a curated version of the best materials out there and the progression of how do you go through this how do you navigate what things to do first what leads to another and i'll definitely be talking more about all of these learning materials in the future uh, how i get to do them and where they're coming from and how they connect to my game pixel art academy which is how i'm able to do all of this but yeah that's probably uh, enough for today. Uh, thank you for uh, being with us and we'll be uploading that video from yesterday as well. So yeah, looking forward to what comes up in the next two weeks and I'll let you know uh, next time on the IndieQuest vlog. Till then, have a good time. Cheers.